So it is the early hours of the morning and what better time uh, to take a look at this cool little device. So this is by Sure. It's a microphone, wireless microphone set and um, this belongs actually uh, not to me or not to a friend, belongs to a company and they inform me that it doesn't work and they're gonna dispose of it and I said well sure I'll take a look at it so I figured uh, while I'm doing that let's invite uh, the most important people on YouTube you guys along and see what we can uh, diagnose as the problem uh, and frankly speaking, if there's even a problem, because a lot of times it's just user error or the device just not working right or something. So let's just pull this out. So um, first thing I'm going to do is pull out. Okay, so we've got the uh, controller module here. This is uh, <clears throat> with sending and receiving channel selection, so it knows what microphone to use. And then we have uh, balanced out, unbalanced out, and power. And this is model PGX4 receiver, for those that are wondering. And we've got two antennas here, which is great. I wonder what this white stuff there is. Mm. All right, let me just move. The, oh, good lord. This is very stiff. Was this designed that way? This antenna should be up when it's in use, but it's very stiff. Is this that way? Oh, that's a little bit better. Mm. It's going to break if someone were to grab it and turn it. Look at that. It'll weaken it over time. Uh, and in the front here, we have uh, audio, channel selection, ready light, and sync. And I'm guessing this is to kind of pair the wireless or wireless microphone to it. So, at any rate, um, interesting. We have um, the Sure Wireless Belt. Uh, transmitter. This is PGX1 and we've got AA batteries. I'm, uh -huh. They actually didn't even put AA symbol in there. Well, that seems kind of cheap. And PGX1, Papa Golf X-Ray 1. While there's transceiver, this is obviously the antenna, so make sure this doesn't get you know, cut off or snagged or it'll be very uh, pretty much worthless. We've got uh, power and if you tap it I think it's mute and if you tap and hold maybe that's how you sync it I'm not sure and then you have um, a connection for the microphone and a little lead here to tell you the status of it. And this doesn't do anything. I think on other models you can change uh, the channel that's what this is for but you know as I said it's a cheaper uh, setup. Although cheap is relative, because I think this is like seven hundred dollars. <laughs> it's just uh, cheap in, in an audio world. Maybe that's better. We've got a transformer, and it's a uh, twelve volt DC, two hundred fifty milliamp. So you know most of that power is just used for the transmitting. Can't imagine it's for anything but that. We've got uh, oh great got a converter so I think this is 1 8 to 1 4 so I can put my headphones in and listen out here to see if it's uh, to hear if it's even working or not and we have got a microphone here this is kind of unique so it's got that four prong and I'm not sure if it's visible but they're actually numbered one three four and two and then on the other end looks like oh, this is ridiculous that's the way some people store stuff um, so we've got a nice clip there and then this is the microphone part you can see that it's exposed um, see if I can zoom in on that Doo -doo -doo -doo. Woo. all right and well 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 maybe that's too much for it so we'll go out a little bit there we go. So uh, that's the microphone portion, that small little thing. And typically there's a, a, a wind kind of cover over it. Uh, I don't see where that is here at all. Uh, you know what? Maybe we can uh, cut this. There we go, along here. And insert 
this in here. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Maybe we can do that. So we've got this because you know you don't want to use this while it's exposed and then someone talks into it. You get a little saliva in there or other particles and you can practically mute that microphone and destroy it uh, with not too much of an of a impact, either by voice, by air pressure, so it really should be covered. Um, all right, we've got the microphone here. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Oop, oop, and uh, it's marked, so I guess it means go with this unit. Maybe that's the problem. Who knows, maybe someone marked it and it doesn't, because I don't see any other orange markings around here. There's nothing on the box, so that maybe that's part of the suspicion. I don't know, maybe this isn't supposed to uh, work with this. But we've got our battery connections, and we have, uh, you know, at the back of the battery that tells you the model. Otherwise, um, usually this sort of comes off. Let's see if it feels smooth enough. Okay, so we have uh, some electronics which we would expect. So uh, basically we have the um, circumference contacts. So microphone, um, but this one particularly needs three. Most of them do. So you see three contacts. And regardless of how someone decides to um, screw this in tight, you can see it'll always make contact with one or two or three of these. And this looks pretty well built. There's some scratches on there, but that's fine. They, they, those scratches right on these pads the bias, the audio, and the ground. So that makes perfect sense. Uh, there are going to be little scratches, no problem. And you can see, uh, if I make this a bit better, that we've got some circuit boards. We've got uh, this one perpendicular to the one behind it because the one behind it is riding right along here. And then it's fixed through this board. Make sure I don't bend those contacts. So first thing first, make sure these contacts are okay, not bent, but they look pretty nice. And we've got a brass piece of metal around here, which is good. I can see that, uh, I'm not sure if it's coming through the camera, but this might be really on the cheap side, and I say that because I can see that almost as if the brass is, I'm not sure, I don't say peeling away, but fading, almost as if it was painted, but it's not but it certainly looks that way. So I'm not sure if this is just a cost uh, made. Oh, here we go. And then we have a little pot. I didn't expect to see this guy here. So this is a little pot to change the game. So maybe this is suspect. Someone went in, turned it all the way down, and says, I can't hear anything. I don't hear anything. Oh, oh. we've got two more pots. Oh, how exciting. We have GRP. Uh, and it is, let's see if I can bring that in a bit more. So we have GRP, it is a red pot, and because we're close to Christmas, look at this, we have CHL, so I'm guessing channel, ah, okay, so channel, and GRP, and there's a bunch of numbers, I'll try and zoom in on that, that's a pretty tricky shot with this camera, Oop. so you can probably barely make out but there are numbers right around that pot so you're supposed to select uh, numbers so if this transceiver is uh, you know um, I think on this back side here it asks for what channel number so if it's 11 let's say this pot has to be uh, selected to 11 on the channel side so that it transmits on the same frequency as the device cool wow Learn something new even at huh, just out of bedtime. Okay, and then we have ourselves a uh, Rayvac 9 volt battery. Wow. All right, so we need a couple other things that I brought here as pre-packaged. Just keep this case here. First thing we're gonna need some double A's. So I've been using these guys for quite some time. Uh, these are Panasonic and Any Loop, Any Lope. Not sure how you pronounce it. Um, I've only had a couple die after four or five years, otherwise I love recharging, being able to use them again and not wasting them. Um, PM me if you really want to know more about, you know, some of the good batteries to you know, reuse. And I'm sure no one's seen one of these ever before, but your standard headphones. Okay. That you'd find, well, these are from Apple, <laughs> that are under $200. 
I think. Anyway, <laughs> so let's plug this in, play around, and see if or what the issue could be. All right, so first thing we need to do is plug this guy in. So we've got the wall wart here. Just make sure we plug this in like so. I suppose, given that they say there's issues, I should probably just maybe double check and confirm that this is the same rating. So on the back of this, it says <laughs> 12 to 18 volt, 160 milliamp. That's what that says there. 12 to 16 volt, 120 milliamp. And if you recall from this uh, earlier, this is 12 volt at 250 milliamp. So this doesn't look like it's the original one for this. It, it'll, it'll work. Um, it's within the voltage range, it provides a bit more pot current than it needs, but I'm not sure this is actually the one that should come from this. I don't know. It certainly is not ma matching the uh, amperage rating, and that would be pretty important. But it provides more than it needs, so fine. We'll just plug this guy in. Let's hope it reaches. All right. <clears throat> Ooh. All right, so what we see here is channel 8. All right, so this channel 8 guy right here, and I think if you just tab the channel a bunch of times. Oh, wow, it takes quite some time. I thought it was going to randomly select. And the next channel will be... 9, 8... Jeez, is this scrambling it? I don't understand. Why would... Nine. Six. That just seems odd that when I'm selecting this, it's not necessarily... So there's nine again. <laughs> Seven. It, 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 this almost seems like completely random the way it's going. I mean, it should be going up or down. I don't understand this. If I hold it, maybe? Three. Okay, let go of it. Three. Let's do 33. Press and hold that. Four, four, so 44? Okay, so I'm going to have to investigate this. I'm not sure, but I don't think when we looked on here that that has, maybe that's what this stands for. Maybe I put four here, so we had one pot here that was four, and maybe the other pot here goes four. Maybe that's how that works, 44. Well, they're the same number, so I intentionally made them the same number. So we can move this to four and four, and we'll see, I don't know. Um, so next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in our headphones here. There we go. And plug them the back here. So that way we'll know when it's working. I've got them in my ears now. I don't hear anything. I see sync there. Interesting. There's press and sync there. Nothing's happening that I can tell, although I'm sure, sure it's working. So let's plug this guy in because uh, it has um, uh, very limited buttons. So let's put them in here. Now this does have this cute little, almost very similar design in terms of sync here. So I'm guessing this one should work straight off the bat. But let me plug in the microphone first. All right. Well, that fit nice and snug. Let's zoom back out a little bit. All right. And let's turn this guy on. All right, power. So we've got power. Oh, 
though I definitely don't hear anything. So let's uh, let's hit sync on this guy and see if we can get these two to pair properly. And that might give us an indication of what's wrong with this. Just troubleshooting it. Alright, so it's on 44. I think I understand how they want this to work. It's coming around. Let's see here. So I'm going to hit sync. Don't change anything. Uh, I don't see any hot selection. Let me take a look. Make sure there's nothing hidden underneath the battery. Sometimes it gets a little dicey where they hide these things. Uh, no. Okay, so I'm thinking that this is then fancy enough that it should sync itself. And, and sync is just, hey, find the same channel that I am, connect, and that's it, rather than manually having to turn it. But I can tell that I'm not hearing anything at all, so let me turn it back on. Now, uh, I've used some of these uh, other ones before, so if I tap it, that's mute. So, let me see something here. I'm trying to understand this, this sync idea. Why is it, why is, I mean, it's a sticker, so I don't, let me press and hold it, see if that does something. I'll press and hold while it's on. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna press and hold while it's on. See what that does. Press this. Mm. All right. Let me It's interesting, I see this uh, green LED blinking from time to time as I'm holding that power button in real quick, but I'm not uh, at all getting any channels. Okay, so let's take a look at some markings, see if that can help identify. Um, Five twenty four to five forty two megahertz. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I'm wondering if since I don't see any pots that I can change on here, I'm wondering if this has to be or rather this can only go from five twenty four to five forty two megahertz. Maybe that's in one megahertz increments for the channel. I'm wondering if 44 is out of this guy's range. It's the only thing I can think of. Um, let me see if I can Google it. All right. See if we can Google it. All right. So. PGX1. Ah, uh, there we go. Sync. So let's see. Okay. Open the transmitter compartment to display the infrared port. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is an infrared port? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How old is this thing? It's infrared port? Sight to sight? Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Well, I don't think I should get blamed for not realizing that's an infrared port, although I wondered why there was no button, but holy hell, that, that's just crazy. Okay. Uh, open the transmitter battery compartment to display the infrared port. With the transmitter IR port exposed to the transceiver, press sync. Hold the sync button until the red light stops flashing on both receiver and transmitter. When the receiver steadily glows, the system is ready to use. Okay. Okay. But seriously? Ah, uh, wow, okay. 
So I would have never guessed uh, in today's day and age that this is an infrared port. Holy heck. Oof. All right. Well, sometimes the old technology does the key. So, um, so that means sight to sight, uh, line of sight, I should say. So this is an infrared port here. Let me make sure that it... And uh, this would be the other... Remember the old days we had to do this? Okay, so... Make sure it's sight to sight. Well, sorry, sight to sight. Oh, jeez, I've got other technologies on my mind. So move this line of sight. And... Oh, look at that. That green light up there is changing. Yep, I pressed it. Very close. Power changing. And now it's green light status. And we have that it's ready to sync. Ooh. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Hello. Oh, look. And it works. It works. That was the problem. <laughs> Oh, that's just disgusting. <laughs> Who would have thought there was infrared port? Unbelievable. Let me see. Oh, wow. Okay. So this definitely works. Ooh. All right, so. Here. I'll bring it to uh, this microphone on here. From here. Scotty. Scotty, beam us up. Beam me up, Scotty. Okay, I'll stop messing around. So, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Impressive, so this works. So now we can shut it off. Oh, that's mute. Oh, press and hold button off. So this is, uh, interesting um it's a little embarrassing actually uh because the uh individual that gave this to me is a technician and yeah technicians don't like to read instructions but i mean damn that took two seconds on the youtube pgx1 sync issue came right up instructions right there with google saying here's your problem make it happen you know solve it so uh it's, it's unfortunate because this happens a lot, and I mean a lot, you know. Take a little bit of time to troubleshoot, because it was literally, you know, two, you know, what, five minutes on? Um, okay, and they would have thrown this away, so that would have been $700, plus you're filling the landfill with, you know, garbage uh, to begin with, right? A bunch of plastic, a little bit of metal, so it's, it's unfortunate. Um, but they should have known better. So let me screw this guy back on. Yeah, contacts look good. All right, definitely feels pretty light. So maybe this battery will balance that out because right now, whoosh. All right, it should a little bit. Plug this guy in. I'll leave the gain there. I don't know where it's at. I'm gonna make an assumption, probably a dangerous one, that no one's changed these or that they, it might, I doubt that they'll work, but let's just see. All right, so it shows that battery is good. So we've got a good battery LED. It says battery's good. So this only measures the battery, uh, you know, uh, the power. So, but I don't hear anything at all. Now, I suspect that uh, this, these two channel markings have to do with this guy right here. So, I'm going to, uh, let's see what this says. So, this is pointed to 2, and this is pointed to, boy, really a smaller read. And that's, I think that looks like 8. It's kind of in between. So, the pot is pointing to uh, this one here. The GRP is pointing to 2. And the channel is pointing to uh, 8. So let's try 28 on this guy. So it's press and hold. And 
put this at that two. And then you press and hold again. Oh, press and hold. It should move it to the other side. All right. And then eight. Press and hold. I think. Maybe just let it go for a moment. Okay, so 28. And uh, maybe turn it off. Turn it back on again. Hello, hello, San Francisco radio. <laughs> PG&E, we need power. <laughs> PG&E, we need power. <laughs> Damn, so that didn't work. Um, let's try it the other way. So we'll do 82. 8, press and hold. Wait for the other. Oop. Yes, we selected you. And then maybe we should just keep it there. Alright, 82. Hello. Alright, turn this back on. Turn it off. Hello. The mice are out of the kitchen. Let's go, let's go. Mm. Nothing. All right, now I said that that looked like it was between, looked like it was between eight, but maybe it's seven. Mm. All right, so we can try Moving this to seven. You know, this is, uh, you know, the idea of this video was uh, just trying to figure out what's going on. And this is just a troubleshooting method. Uh, sometimes it can take, uh, you know, 15 minutes. Sometimes it can take four or five hours. But I think there's always value in um, going through a process logically and, and trying to deduce. Sometimes logically, sometimes randomly. There's no, you know, let's try this again. Screwed fell down, Ikea aisle 55. Screw fell down, Ikea aisle 55. All right, so that's not working. Um, all right, we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to look up the instruction. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so the model of this was written on this underside and it is Uniform Charlie 2, Uniform Alpha. Uniform Charlie 2, Uniform Alpha. All right. Let's do what solved our butt. Google. Uniform Charlie 2 dash Uniform Alpha. Sure. Hey, that looks, wow. Jeez, 159, 203, 203. 53, wow. Um, sure. Let's take a look at the guide here. Slightly different setup, but we don't care. All right. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Okay, five and six. Let's take a look at five and six. Oh, there we go. G S C the red switch rotating the switch clockwise advances the group setting rotating it counterclockwise decreases the setting well who would have thought that was the case hmm okay and then the red pot is the channel setting rotating the switch clockwise okay Use the supplied screwdriver. Well, I didn't get any supplied screwdriver. Okay, so we have group channel switch and channel setting switch. Now this one is absolutely more. Um, I don't have this received right here, which is fine. Oh, group and channel, but I don't think mine showed that. Mine didn't have that. Okay. So let's keep plugging away, figure this out. 
Uh, hmm. Okay. So, group and channel. Excellent. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Group and channel zero zero. Okay, so basically saying make sure you turn the group and channel switch to whatever you want it to turn it to. Whew. Thank goodness someone told us that. Um, uh, and then, of course, here it says change it on the actual uh, receiver. But the problem is my receiver doesn't have a group and channel switch. It, you just push it. Oh. Well, here they said group is first, and then you do the channel, and then I had a, okay, so, okay, um, then I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> okay, let me get a screwdriver. <laughs> All right, I've had these screwdrivers forever. Husky. <laughs> Husky I used to have a husky dog, so I say it that way. Sorry. Uh, and then I'm thinking this might be a little too big, but it's all right. Good. So group is the red one. Yep, on the back side here. So this is the group switch right here, this red one, and. Let me get a flashlight so you can see this a little better. <laughs> All right, beautiful. All right, so there is that. You can definitely see that now, I'm sure. There's that pot. We can even go in a little closer to. Ah, okay. And we can see that the red group is set to, got to look for that arrow, is set to 2. And the channel, that's a bit more tricky because it's kind of in between numbers. Maybe that's why they're having issues with it. It's like 7 or 8. Just smack dab between. It looks like it's at 8, but it didn't seem to work. So we're going to reset these and make them nice and even. All right, so turn this guy and all right, so we're going to set the group. We're going to leave it at two. I don't see an issue with that, but the channel I do because I still don't know what it's pointing to. Okay, perfect. What I have done is I've left the group the same, which is clearly at two. There's no need to uh, mess with that. Uh, but I moved the channel to three. And I'm almost certain that it's pointing exactly at three. Ooh, all right. Let's give this a camera some maybe more background. There we go. So I don't know how well that can be viewed what is pointing really right at three. So let's hope that that works. So attacking it from this angle. And I'm thinking that the way this works is this is the first number that comes up. If I'm holding it here, you know, it's the group. So the first one that I'm actually editing is for the group. So let's move this to channel there we go. So let's move this to two. And then that locks this in. So right now, if this had been 22, put the battery in. We would have been able to hear something. Now, we won't hear anything yet. I'm just prepping. I always get to prep. Got my headset in. 
and uh, of course don't expect to hear anything yet and then what we're going to do is now take a look at our channel which we moved to three so now we got to edit this And that should be it. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm, nothing. Now, one thing that I noticed on this guy is group max went to nine and then it went back to zero and uh, channel went zero through nine and then it says A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, which makes me, which makes me wonder if I can see those letters on here. I still don't understand why it goes to a different number, but all right. Let's make sure the manual. See, that goes 0 through 9, so that's kind of a legitimate confirmation that's got to be group, because on this pot, it only it was labeled 0 through 9. So if we go to this next one, press and hold to move to the uh, channel. Now let's see if we. See, this is this only goes. This only goes zero through nine as well. Now, if I press and hold, and zero through nine as well. So just press and hold one more time. See what happens. All right, I have an idea. We're going to move this to one, and then we're going to move the group channel to one. That way it doesn't matter which one's which, they're both one, one. Group one, channel one. Can't be any more uh, legitimate than that. So I'll move this to one, one. Gotta get out of the camera shot view for a moment. Okay. I've got this set now on this back side here to 1 1. So it shouldn't matter which is which. Let's try it again. Nothing. <laughs> All right, let me uh, play with the gain. Because at this point, we got full battery. Both of these are 1 and 1. Shouldn't matter. That says 1 1. This is 1 1. Unless there's a, a malfunction within this or the pot is bad, it, it should work. But we do have the gain, and perhaps maybe that's low. That we're just not hearing it, even if it's synced. So let's go with the gain. I'm going to just turn that here. See if that does anything. Oh, thought I heard something for a moment, but it was just, uh, hope. <laughs> uh, still nothing. All right. So, let's, uh, Google it. All right, SM87. Sync. With, uh... 
PGX4. All right. So let's do this one more time. PGX1 with SM87. Let's see what we can pull up from that guy. Mmm. All right. Hmm. Missing SM eighty seven. Um. I wonder if I should not use SM eighty seven. I don't know if that makes a difference. And. Go ahead and just report it from this way for the model. U C two U A and see if that gives any indication at all for how to sync these guys. Sure, I'm losing sync. All right. Okay, so this is with what we've already done. So this is not what I was looking for. Hmm. Hmm. This is the not sexy part of trying to figure out what we need to do. All right, here we go. Now we're really cooking with uh, with gas. All right. Scan for a clear channel and power up. What the hell is that? What do they mean pointing the remote there? I didn't see an infrared receiver. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I wonder if this even belongs to this damn set. Oh boy. Let's see. Because that doesn't make any sense. I have no... I've seen some on the bottom where they have an infrared, but this is the cap. This is the yeah. This is just the cap. There, I mean, there was no, there's no infrared device there. So why would I do that? Maybe that's one model. Because you still have this guy here on the left hand side. All right. Press for a clear channel and power up. Then you sync your radios. Now this is PGX4 receiver. Okay, PX1 body type transmitter. Microphone. Okay, here we go. WL93, WL185, PG30, or beta 98HC. <laughs> this is none of these. This is SM87 and UC. Damn, I think we've been duped. I don't think this can work with this. All right, let's see. So what we want is uh, just identify what this guy does. But I'm starting to understand that this why it's not working. The microphone's not designed for it. Because see, in this microphone. This is where you would expect that infrared um, communication device, and that doesn't exist on the one that I have. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So 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 that makes sense. Well, remember when I kept pressing the beginning of the video? 
and and I was saying, what the hell's going on? I'm not getting the same number. Because I thought, okay, well, I should be getting the same number. What this is doing is it's scanning and it's saying, uh, do you know uh, what what frequencies are clear? In this case, it's saying 14 is clear. But that's all you do. Now you can manually enter it like I did, channel up to zero through nine, which makes sense. 99 channels. And that's why we didn't see A, D, C, and F because there is no that doesn't make sense in this world because that's not the right microphone for this. So in this case, we have channel 14, clear and open. If I pressed it again, it would say channel 19, clear and open, go ahead and use that. Now at this point, that's all you do with this. Then you go over here and then you press sync to sync this to that so it's the same channel if, it, if it's not working already. So once you have that, put my headset on, you have to be concerned about this guy. So we already pre-synced uh, this, right? We'd seen this before, it worked, so what we have to do again is quickly sync it. And the reason why is because we changed the channel. So right now I've got it on, plugged in, and I don't hear anything. So what we have to do is pop this cover down and point that small red square to this small red square, i.e. this is where the infrared is at. And we point it here and then you'll watch and you should see this green momentarily go and move to red. When it's solid, we're set to go. So again, it needs sight, sight to sight. So point it at here, right square at it, and then just watch that lead here and that'll indicate whether it's synced or not. So I pressed it until I see green. Now it shows green. Now I should have audio. Look, when I talk, the microphone's picking it up because you can see me blink. Ha, 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 ha. Let's confirm that. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. That was so loud. Yes, very loud in my ear. All right. So that's how that works. So what this means um, is this. At the very beginning of the video, we had uh, a microphone set <coughs> that we received in this box and trying to understand why it didn't work. And what we discovered was a couple things. We discovered uh, that in order for the process of getting this to work right is plugging it in, fresh batteries, well, they say fresh, but let's just say charged batteries, and then initially pressing channel and it'll find a clear channel and it's just telling you it's channel 19. At that point you hit sync on this with this thing powered on and when you see solid green back again from the red it's now synced with this guy. What caused the initial problems I'm my guessing is most of uh, their clients don't want to necessarily use this they want to use this guy. They want to use this microphone right here because, because a lot of people, when they come, they like to hold a microphone so they can gauge um, how far it is from their voice. Plus, I think people just like holding something and maybe it gives them power when they're presenting. Ooh, okay, so no singing for me and, and thank goodness for you. But, you know, right off the bat, you know, if I recall, I was saying, I wonder why this is green, or oh, I'm sorry, orange and there's nothing else orange here. And, and, and you know what this means is someone was smart enough to say, okay, this microphone goes with a different receiver and they colored that orange somewhere. This was tossed in here, but it doesn't belong in here. It doesn't even work. We just read the manual. This wasn't a model that they said was supported on this. And there's further evidence because in order to program this guy, it was infrared. So in order to program this guy, it should be infrared too. And that infrared should be on the bottom of here. but no infrared. There's nothing like that red window. It's, you know, it's not the way it works. So that led us to believe that this was wrong for it. But if most people had used this, they would say, oh, this doesn't work. And then someone troubleshooting, here's probably what happened is they press the channel button. As soon as they did that, it disconnects this guy. So now they're going, not only does this not work, but this doesn't seem to work. So, yikes. So, you know, just a good idea to, um, A, probably read the instructions and troubleshoot to really play around. Because now we have this $600 set 
and it works perfectly fine. And now we can put it back in production. Thanks for watching.